It's been a record-breaking day in our two most populated states. Daily COVID case numbers in New South Wales and Victoria hit new highs and pressures building on our hospital system. Tonight, how restrictions devastated one family during their crisis. Holding her mummy's hand to sleep, Lara is too young to truly understand what's happening around her. Hey, Mom. A week ago, this was the sassy four-year-old. Before Stacey and Matt were given the devastating news, their daughter has leukaemia. The young parents forced to uproot their lives from Orange in country New South Wales to Sydney for Lara's treatment, where they're facing months of chemotherapy. She's gonna go through the fight of her life. We are both devastated. We had to leave our two children, who were three and nine months in Orange, um, which is four hours away. And indefinitely, Orange has just gone into lockdown, so we can't go back and see our other children. They can't come here and see us. If they weren't already feeling isolated, Stacey and Matt have been told they must go it alone. COVID health rules forcing them to rotate in 24-hour shifts to care for their four-year-old daughter in hospital. As of midnight yesterday, they changed it to one parent per day. No swapping. It is just one parent per day. We are allowed a 15-minute changeover to discuss how Lara's gone in the last 24 hours. Stacey was forced to spend last night alone at Ronald McDonald House within the grounds of the Children's Hospital at Randwick. She had a bad night last night and just wanted mummy and daddy had to say mummy's not allowed to come. Then an emotional changeover this morning. How are you feeling about today? Yeah. You're brave? Yeah. yeah. We've got the doctors <laughs> looking after you. Matt swaps out, knowing his little girl is about to have her first surgery. The tough new restrictions leaving him to sit alone in lockdown, while Stacey does her best to keep Lara distracted in hospital. How is Lara coping with, with all of this? She definitely is struggling not having both of us there. What is the hardest thing to accept about the position you're in right now? For us especially, um, just looking out the window and I can see the hospital. Um, we're probably 200 metres away. We're not going off site. We're not going into the community. Uh, we can't go home because that's three, three or four hours away. So we're literally on site and, and swapping and that doesn't seem to make sense. I can relate to why the rules are put in. Um, I don't think a blanket rule is suitable for every circumstance. She needs her parents. She needs to feel safe. She needs to feel supported. And that is something that only we can provide. And I just ask that you just put yourself in our shoes. We're four hours away from home. Our four-year-old has just been diagnosed with cancer. We just want to be together. It's certainly a tough balance for health authorities. The tougher restrictions are in place to keep sick and vulnerable patients safe. But for some families in the thick of it, a level of compassion is needed. They're all agonising over these sorts of decisions. Um, I think that uh, from time to time there will be uh, situations where it does seem just, it just doesn't seem right, but in the reality, if you look at the bigger picture, what they're trying to do, they're trying to keep that family safe. We asked the Health Minister today to consider Lara's case. I'll talk to them again about what you're raising, but I've just got to say we've also got to understand that other aspect. I just went in with Lara while they put her to sleep for her surgery. By this afternoon, some good news. Lara's just come out of surgery and everything's all gone well. Both her mummy and daddy by her side. New South Wales Health has granted us an exemption, which means that we're able, both of us, to see her as we need to. And we're very thankful for the nursing staff and everyone that's been looking after Lara so far. Stacey and Matt now allowed to be there for Lara and each other. Very brave. That's a good rest. That's at least a small positive, isn't it? The Sydney Children's Hospital says families are encouraged to discuss any questions or concerns directly with their child's healthcare team. That full statement is on our homepage.